Hey guys, how's it going? This is a very quick introduction on how to use AC analysis within Cadence. To test out the AC analysis tool, we're going to mess around with this two-pole low-pass filter that I've had in my uh, ideal op-amp video that I made. We're going to run an AC analysis simulation on this circuit and we'll use the bandwidth calculator to calculate the bandwidth. And we can compare what we get with the actual formula for the bandwidth, which is this really big formula right here. Um, for this example to work, we're going to have to use this uh, DC voltage source right here. It's analog lib VDC. And we're going to set the AC magnitude to something. Uh, I have it set to 1. You can set it to 100 milli if you wish. Uh, but we'll use 1 for this example. And then the... And then the uh, resistor and capacitors, these are just standard analog lib resistor and capacitor. Nothing special here. Let's go ahead and get the simulation set up. Go to ADEL, and we'll add an analysis. And since we're doing AC analysis, we'll make sure we check that. And we'll do one hertz to a millihertz. We'll see how that works for us. And if you want to improve the resolution of your simulation, you can do a logarithmic sweep. And you can add 1,000 points per decade uh, if you need to. We'll go ahead and do that, but we might not need to. Now let's add a, a few outputs. And to do that, I'm going to use the calculator like I always do. And since we're doing AC analysis, we're going to use the VF or the uh, the IF option, and the VF stands for voltage, so that's what we want to look at. And we're going to look at this Vout2. That's the output, our final output of this uh, two-pole low-pass filter. And we can go ahead and plot that if we want. And also, we can go down here to all these functions, and we'll uh, look at the bandwidth. And the calculator should spit out the bandwidth for us. So we can select the 3 dB bandwidth, and then what type of filter is this? This is a low pass, so we'll make sure we select that. Click OK. And if we want to plot this in the dB domain on the y-axis, we can go up here and click dB20, and that will make the y-axis y -axis in decibels. So we'll, we'll go ahead and plot that as well. Okay, so let's run this simulation. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. No, that didn't take too long at all. And we see this spits out this bandwidth 6.516. For my calculations, I show a bandwidth of 6.37. Uh, there's going to be some error due to the resolution in cadence. As long as your answers are close, I'd say that's good enough. Uh, but to really see how close these are, let's look at this uh, DB20 version of the V out. We'll plot that, and we'll uh, press V. That's what adds this uh, vertical slider here, and we'll drag it to the negative 3 dB area, and we get about uh, 6.4, and I calculated 6.37. So I. I'd say that's uh, pretty dang close. If your input here, ACM, is less or greater than 1 volt, for example, 100, for example, 100 uh, M, 100 milli, you're going to have to make sure, you're going to have to make sure that in your calculator, you divide by the input as well. Select your input. Have it here as an option. You're going to take your, your output and divide it by your input. And that way, uh, the, the plot will actually behave how it should. So we can click DB20 again. Then that. So we have V out 2 and V out 2 divided by the input. 
we can go ahead and re-simulate. And you'll see why you have to divide by that input. It's because uh, the scales are all messed up. You want it to start at zero decibels. So just make sure you divide by the input if your input is something other than one volt. Dividing by the input will get you your, your output to input gain, uh, which is pretty important when it comes to uh, most AC analysis simulations. And that's about it. This is a very basic introduction to AC analysis within Cadence. Uh, let me know what you thought. Please rate and subscribe. Thanks and have a good day.